Hey guys, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. What we want to do this time is just stand in the center of this platform and press up, which will elevate the platform and bring us up to the next boss. Well, the first boss, not really the next boss. First one against. Ripperoo again! Believe it or not, it's actually easier this time. And he's just practicing after his best selling book, so. What you basically just have to do is just sort of stand in an area that he doesn't detonate TNT in. And this time, oh my gosh, he doesn't just detonate TNT, is he starts um, throwing Nitro on the ground. Just always don't stand where he's about to jump, or where he has jumped with Nitro and he'll detonate himself. And then he goes vulnerable, so then you can attack him. And same again, just move out of his way. Just sort of kind of, you can see he has a pattern to his attacks, so... Just kind of stand where you, opposite where he started, and you should be safe for the most part. And I think this, yeah, he only has three pieces of health, so he's on his last run. What you can do is just run to areas of TNT and I know you should have it still, just make sure you're safe. And you may spin it for the third time. We defeat Ripper Roo yet again! Let's break it down now! And we're getting into the next warp room. <laughs> I see that Ribaru failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. That's right, Cortex. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. What the hell are you talking about, Cortex? Is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Of course it does. Oh. You can tell she's the smart one in the family. Okay. So we have five new levels to explore. I was say showbiz, snowbiz, which is another snow level. Air crash, which is similar to um, can't remember the name of the level down there. And bearish, which is like um, the level where you have to um, ride a warthog in Crash One. Crash crush, which I think is another running level. And a new level, eel deal, which is where you explore a sewer. But what we want to do first is we want to just jump on this friendly polar bear. <laughs> Animal cruelty. <laughs> Cause if you jump on it ten times, you get ten lives for your efforts. Which puts our life count to 42. And you can actually go back down to the warp room previously by pressing down. And if you hold uh, all four shoulder buttons and triangle as you go up, you can actually fight the boss again. So I don't actually want to do that, but just to stare if you want to do it. So next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, we'll be exploring one of these levels. See you all next time. 